Hey everybody, this is Mike from Bolton here with Max from Max's Path. Hey. And we're going to go through five with a fighter. Coming up. All right, Max. Yes, I'm so ready. So you, you are my first five with a fighter. I'm the guinea pig. Yeah, so five for fighter is, a, is, a, is an interview with somebody from the training community. Students, trainers, uh, people related to it, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, we're taking five minutes out of Max's day to it's ask killing, him. It's killing me. It's killing him. It's killing me. Yeah. Well, actually, just to, just to throw a shout out, <laughs> we just did a, an interview on Max's, uh, Max's channel. You should check it out maybe somewhere here. Yep. Or over here, Max's, wherever that yeah, winds up. Max's path. Max's path. Max's path. Yeah, and, and I, I only took it not even an hour of your time. Yeah, not even a, it's like five minutes shy of an hour. It's a little bit of a long form video, but it's a good one. So uh, thank you for having me on your oh, your absolutely. channel. But uh, now we're gonna do five for a fighter. We get five minutes. The first four questions, whatever we can get through in the first four minutes, and then the last question starts at four minutes and if we can get it done under five great if not we'll just keep it rolling all right uh, because it's an important one to ask it's pressure it's pressure all right <laughs> i'm going to start a timer for four minutes i'm ready where did training start for you and who was your biggest influence uh training started with me at tack response um flighty pistol was my first class that i ever took um and most influential person in my training so far has absolutely been james yeager um, he opened up the world for me. Mm -hmm. Um, he showed me that I could actually do it because I very much am someone that doubts myself initially. Okay. Um, I assume I'm going to fuck everything up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I know that feeling. But yeah, he was, he's absolutely been the most influential person so far in my training. Yeah, me too. I mean, and, and that's how we know each other yep. as well, right? Yep. Gotcha. Um, so in your training, mm -hmm. you know, in, in classes that you've taken, what disciplines or topics uh, excite you the most? What gets your jollies off? Medical. Medical. Yeah. The Why? opportunity to help someone, um, it, it clicked for me uh, when I took immediate action, which is another class attack response. Immediate uh, action medical. medical. Great class. I've taken it as well. Uh, it really just fired something up in me. Um, I carry ridiculous amounts of medical on my person. Um, I have invested time and way too much money in medical bags for my vehicle, for my wife's car. Um, that's not your phone, that's mine. It's his phone. Um, so that definitely is kind of, for whatever reason, where my passion kind of went, which surprised the fuck out of me. Nice. In case uh, I can't curse on your channel. Well, yeah. Well, too well, late now. It's too late now. <laughs> um, yeah, medical is super important. It's, yeah. it's the one that you'll probably yeah. use the most or most likely to use in, in all of your, your life out of any training that you yep. take. Um, speaking of which, uh, using it, mm -hmm. have you ever had to put any of your skills that you've learned in your training to use? Not in a direct way. So I, I'm an assistant scout master. Okay. Um, so every year we have a medical kind of drive for the month of March and they do a first aid meet and I have run the girls through scenarios. And so the girls, the first time out, they scored very high, especially in all the scenario driven things dealing with 911. It's a whole thing. Um, so not, thank God, not, not directly. Um, I haven't had to patch anyone up. I haven't had to, besides minor cuts, bruises, things okay. like that. But that not directly, but I would say that. Well, do you think that your training helped you 100%. think through the problems better? Yeah, because I, I, I try to bring realistic nature to the scenarios, not just, excuse me, the carbon copies that the scouts kind of are given to work off of. Gotcha. Um, Okay, so we've talked about where your training's been, mm -hmm. if you've ever need to use it. Where are you going next? What's what's on your what's on your dream list of things to take? ECQC. Oh yeah, Craig Douglas. ECQC. Uh, I I know where my weaknesses are. Um, I did take jujitsu for a little bit and realized that I'm you can easily get killed by a ninety pound woman. Like, mm. No joke. Well, they're the most deadly. Yes, yes. Even when you see them coming. Um, but yeah, ECQC, I think, is one of those ones I definitely want to take next. My next class that I'll probably take is going to be uh, Hero to, Zero to Hero with Radios Made Easy. Yep. Um, Evan Dixon. Yeah, they're yep. the radio class. That'll be my next one. I'll be at ECQC. 
Nice. We've made it through the four questions in four minutes. So talking about on time, baby. Yeah. So we'll stop the timer right there, and then we have one last question for you. Yes. And I know this is uh, this is you know can be a little bit deep, mm -hmm. um, but we're fighters down to our core. That's what that's what we learn to do through all the training that we do. Uh, we make ourselves harder to kill, um, but uh, really uh, we all have fights. Oh yeah. That we've all been in. Mm -hmm. Or with ourselves, whatever. Um, so I'm going to give you the time, and I, I want to hear from you. What is, or what has been, your biggest fight in life? I'm a lazy fucker. Mm. I can relate. I am a lazy, procrastinating, sloppy son of a bitch. I am have nev never been the person that just, on my own spur of the moment, gets up and does things. I literally have to say... Max, you lazy motherfucker, mm -hmm. get up and do. Um, and that's been probably my biggest fight. Um, that and I'm a gear nerd. Oh. I enjoy the engineering aspect of it. Yeah. Um, so when I hear things like, oh, this does this better or this does that better, it's not so much that I'm trying to fix myself. It's just it, it interests me. Um, and it's so easy to spend so so much effing money on crap that it might make it, we might be a little faster with it, but negligibly when it's actually been used in practical oh, situations, yeah. it's, right? It's so easy to fall oh down the, the gear, like, you know, spiral where yes. you're like, oh, if I can optimize the right. curve of this thing yes. on the handguard to make sure that when I'm using it, I'm optimized. Meanwhile, I'm a fat fuck. <laughs> and and I haven't I haven't taken care of this problem yet, but man, yeah. my handguard is optimized. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, so yeah, I think that that's the biggest thing for me. Um, obviously, I know like I like I'm I'm a Sasquatch. Um, I I fight. <laughs> that's not, why that's why we get along so well. Right, we're, exactly. We're, we're cut from the same cloth. Um, I I I try not to be my father. Um, not that I didn't love him, but he let himself go big time and infected his health throughout his life. Um, so there's that too, um, but that that again that lazy shit just crops up there too. Like I'm having issues with my arm right now, so I'm making excuses for myself that I was going to start going to a gym, you know, mm -hmm. back not the first in a month. I was going to do Black Friday. Oh, yeah. Like fuck, it, I'm going to start early. Like November, you're yeah, going to go back like to in the November. Gym? Yeah. November, I was going to go back to this last November that I didn't go back to the gym, um, and I hurt my arm, and, and, and your shit's always going to happen. There's always excuses, um, but yeah, like like. But the laziness kind of prevails over all of it. Um, I need to spur myself into action, whether it's making videos that I don't feel like doing, whether it's um, cleaning up the backyard, whether it's organizing all the crap that I have um, that winds up in bags and winds up on the kitchen table and then the wife yells at me and mm -hmm. then she shoves it in corners and I yell at her, where'd you put my stuff? I can't find yeah, anything. Yeah. Um, so the laziness is probably the biggest thing. Laziness, laziness and procrastination, they're probably my two biggest adversaries as far as getting done what I need to get done. Fair enough. And we all have our fights. And, uh, man, you're, you're a good friend, and I've seen Max, you know, kind of grow through the years, and mm -hmm. he's been a student of mine before. And, uh, man, what, your, your ass is in gear. You're creating YouTube videos. You're doing all this other yeah. stuff. Um, so... Good on you for, well, for, whole, for fighting that fight. I mean, the whole reason I started doing YouTube videos is people got tired of me asking them to do videos. <laughs> and I kept on hearing, why don't you fucking do it? Right. Um, and, I mean, that's, you know, again, like, I was being lazy and I was being a shithead and, you know, realized, okay, well, you know, if I want to see these things or do these things, I need to do it myself. Hell yeah. So, hey, if you want to talk to Max some more, um, you should either talk to, to all of us over at the Bulletin Community on Facebook you can check out Max at Max's Path on YouTube. On YouTube, right? Um, there's no Facebook or anything like that. No just, Facebook. Just you should have a Facebook eventually. Eventually, I'll get there. It takes like thirty seconds. I'll get Facebook there page. eventually. Okay. This is the whole procrastination. Yeah, yeah. Oh, lazy part. Well, I'm gonna try and push your ass. <laughs> uh, check out Max. He has awesome videos. Really great topics. I think my favorite ones: uh, girls in the boy or girls in the Boy Scouts or girls, girls in Scouts, scouting. Yeah. I have a daughter in scouting as well. Um, so, uh, check out his stuff. It's great. And, um, you know, just stay connected guys. So this is Mike at Bulletin reminding you to get smart, stay ready, and find tricky.